To enhance the security of your Ubuntu, you can configure one-time password in Ubuntu for login, SSH connection, and even sudo command. One-time password is also known as two-factor authentication, is probably the simplest security enhancement you can configure, and yet it is one of the strongest protection of your system. To configure one-time password in Ubuntu, you need to do these steps. Install Google Authenticator. Then install an OTP app on your mobile phone. There are plenty of OTP apps. My favorite one is EndOTP. It is free and open source. I also like it for its multiple backup options. To configure and activate Google Authenticator on your Ubuntu, run this command in the terminal. When you see a QR code in the terminal screen, Scan it with your mobile OTP app, type one-time password from the OTP client and press enter. You will be presented with the emergency codes on your screen. Write them down in some secure place. You would need them in case you lose access to your mobile OTP app, so store them somewhere in the third device, so not your Ubuntu or mobile phone. Then you would need to answer a few questions to complete the configuration. I recommend answering yes to all of them. To enable one-time password in Ubuntu system-wide, including login and any sudo command, open this file and add these lines at the end of the file. Save and close the file by pressing Ctrl-O and Ctrl-X. Now log out and try to log in. You will be prompted to enter one-time password. The same happens when you use any sudo command in the terminal. One-time password also will be requested for any graphical admin action such as system update through the Ubuntu Update Manager. A request to enter one-time password every time you run sudo may be inconvenient, so I prefer to have OTP set only for the login screen and the SSH connection. Let's reverse the previous step where we set the system-wide OTP requirement and add one-time password request only to the login manager. Add this line at the end of the file, Ctrl-O and Ctrl-X. Now sudo works without the two-factor authentication, but the login screen still requests it. I find two-factor authentication the most useful for the SSH connection when your Ubuntu is open to the whole internet. To enable it, open the file ATC SSH sshd config find this word and set it to yes press the keys ctrl o to write the changes and ctrl x to exit nano next add otp authentication to the common session pom config file paste the same two lines ctrl o enter and ctrl x to apply these settings, restart the SSH daemon. Try to log in with SSH and you will be welcomed with this OTP request. To get even more security to your SSH, you can combine one-time password and public key authentication. I describe how to do that in the corresponding article. There is also an instruction how to disable one-time password in Ubuntu and how to recover from one-time password lockout. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching!